Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Thursday. Well, today we're going to be starting my London picture and I'm starting right up here with color $7.99. I do have it upside down because it's so big. It's a 60 by 80. I folded part of it over so that I could get it like in the picture. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's been a week already. So, what are y'all up to? I, I hope y'all are having a more fun time than I am. Because, yeah, Monday was okay. I only had to work my regular hours. Tuesday was yay because I got to go home at 9.15 instead of 10.15. So, that worked. That worked out. Then, um, my friend was supposed to come and visit from Arizona. And they got sick with the, the thing. So, they're not coming. So, yeah, it's been yay, mm, yay, mm, all week. Yeah, what can I say? And I am stitching this upside down. I don't know if you can tell or not. But it's the easiest way to get everything in the camera view. So, I am off for the next four days. So, I woke up to snow. But it's like a wet snow. You know, it, it's horrible. It's just kind of drippy out there. It's, it's sticking to, like, cars, but not the road. So, yeah, and it, we've lost the mountains completely. Well, I knew it was going to snow. So, last night I got off at 9, and the grocery store is open till 10. So, I went and bought a roast, and I got it in the crock pot. I'm going to cook it and have, you know, like roast and potatoes, carrot things for tonight. But I do have a pack of, what do you call them, you know, the noodles. And I get the grandma's frozen noodles, so I'll be having beef and noodles tomorrow. But today we'll just have beef and potato and carrot. I just bought one potato and two carrots because I'm not real fond of all that, you know. So I can stand it for like, I'm trying to get you in closer, um, for like one trip. And then I'm done. I, I I don't want any more like that. And sometimes I'll make a roast beef, you know, hot roast beef sandwich. But not this time. I'm going to make it into beef and noodles. So, yeah. I have no idea what the day is going to bring. And it didn't say it was going to snow tomorrow. So, I think tomorrow it's going to get to a high of 35. So, not much of it will be melting off. Yeah. Just a spectacular weekend. So, I don't know if it'll get in the 50s again or not. We'll see. It might decide to just snow, snow, snow. But today, I'm staying in. I'm not going anywhere. I've just had enough. Just totally. And I don't know if I'll stitch or if I'll roll diamond paint today or both. Just... Not real sure. And I missed two right there. But I thought we'd just start on this little edge and and go from there. Hope you can see me stitching. You have to roll it up just one more. I got my clips. I don't have one to even show you, but there it is. Crap. Right there. My blue clips are holding it where it needs to be. So, yeah, it might just turn out to be a stitchy day. But that's okay. I can handle that, too. Oh, crap. I did it backwards. You say backwards and... All of a sudden, your brain just flips inside out. It'll be fine. We got this. 
I got it fixed. So, you know, grand plans for the weekend. My daughter got all her wood that they had bought at an auction because my son-in-law was home on Tuesday and Wednesday. So they got it back to the house, and I told you that was like a dump truck, so they just dumped it there. They got enough to put on the porch, you know, for the next day or two. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Let me get you out just a bit. There we go. Sometimes it's just too close. It's really a pretty blue thread. And I like the background of this. It looks kind of, I don't know, I want to say London-y, but that, you know, where it's kind of cloudy. It looks like it's raining because the pavement's all wet here, you know, and reflecting everything. I just think it's a beautiful picture. I really do. They even got the, is it called the eye? I'm sorry, I'm not from uh, London. So, but that, I'll call it a Ferris wheel, but I know that's not what it is. And somebody told me this is the House of Commons. Maybe? I don't know. My friend Jill, she's like, this is this, this is that, this is it. And I'm like, okay. So, I don't know which one was which. But I do know that's Big Ben. And I like the double-decker buses and the little, what do you call it? The telephone booth. And I, I was going to start in this corner, but now I want to get closer to this building because I want to start that building sooner than later. You know how that goes. So, but it's confettied big time. But this kind of, it's modeled in here. So there's bigger areas to stitch, if you will. So we'll just go from here and just, whoops, take it easy and do what we do. I worked a little bit on, what am I working on? Tell me, tell me. Oh, my big, our uh, great wall. Last night before I went to bed and then I couldn't see straight, so I was kind of done. But I got a little bit more of the wall done. So liking that and this will be fine once I crunch it down a little bit more ah, crap. so it'll be yeah you know, it's not it's stiff but it's not that stiff it just needs to be crunched a bit and I just wanted to stitch some days I just keep moving And I know I was talking about uh, taking a part of one of, uh, not taking it apart, but taking a part of one of the modern and folk embroidery patterns that I already have. Um, and making a little black piece. I don't know if that'll ever get done. I mean, I do have enough black thread, trust me. Because I buy hordes of black thread. Between the black and the white and my all my reds. Because that's what I use most of the time. You know, unless it's a specific counted cross stitch. I do like my, my bristles. They, they're just comforting. They're easy to stitch. You don't have to think too hard. Just, whoops, can't have that on that. You know, it, it it's just nice. I like it. So that's why I buy lots of red thread. So I don't know what I want to do. I, I do have a piece of material, so that wouldn't be a problem. I just don't know. I don't know. In my brain, somewhere somebody put this, that the black, and it might have been Jacob, the black samplers were not a death sampler, but 
I don't know. I, I don't know. There was one he had that, and I don't know, it was like a marriage sampler. I don't know if anybody remembers this or, or even interested, but it was a black sampler that he put out. But I, I don't know what it was, but it just kind of reminds me of a, like a remembrance piece, if you will. I don't know how else to put it. I cannot stitch upside down backwards. So we're just going to move this this way. And we're going to move this over. I can't see those X's because, of course, you know how this goes. There are two more symbols of the same color. <sighs> Irritating. Why do they do that? Why? Irritating. So, yeah. So, anyway. So, I, I don't know where I was going with that whole conversation. So, I'm not real excited to start something like that. So, I don't know. I'll have to look through my patterns and see if I can find something that might have something on it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not that dark of a stitcher. And sometimes I have problems stitching on black. I mean, I cannot stitch on black material to save my soul, so that won't happen. But I have other colors. I tried that black thing. That did not go over well at all. And heaven forbid you use, what is it? What is that stuff? Picture this plus on black because if I put it on a 16 count, then I can't see where I'm stitching and I've tried everything. I've done the light pad underneath. I've done like a flashlight underneath. No, it just, it doesn't work for me. It's beautiful when it's done, but it, no. And then sometimes I have a problem stitching with black thread. And it doesn't matter what color it's on, you know. I still can't tell where I stop and start. But picture this plus is the absolute worst because it's, if you buy 16 count, it feels like it's 18 count. Ada? Oh yeah, not happening. Not happening at all. So, yeah. I just never went back and got any more black. I have... I think I have a piece of the chalkboard, but yeah, I haven't, no, that didn't appeal to me either, it didn't work, I don't know, I just never got into it, so, not happening. Okay, where to go from here, I think there's one there. I am feeling a lot better. I'm just, it's early in the day and my nose is still kind of stuffy. But during the day, I barely cough at all, even working, you know. So, yeah, it's just little by little. And I am getting so I can go to sleep and not having a coughing attack. So, that's a good thing. goodness and uh, well I was supposed to go like I started to say did I not finish that that conversation I went from one to four four other ones squirrel sparkly squirrel that way yep no um they had gotten that wood so I was going to help her go and stack it up like they have a place by the porch like they have a porch and then you can come down and then right beside the porch on the bottom, they have a place where they keep it up close to the house. So, I was good. Whoops. I was going to help her do that, but yeah, that didn't go over. Because she said, I'm not going out there in that mess. I'm like, okay. But evidently, 
my uh, grandson stacked up her. They have a thing they can just go out and get some off the porch. And then they filled it up by the porch where I just told you. So every all's good. She's she's set for wood today. So we don't have to worry about that for the next two or three days. And like I said, it's not cold. It was like 33 degrees when I got up. It has been being like 25 degrees. So, yeah. We were happy about that. So that's why the snow's not sticking too terribly hard. Oh, gosh darn it. I keep coming up the same one. That I keep going down. Because I'm talking and trying to stitch at the same time. Come on. Goodness gracious. Oh my god, my eyes itch today. Why? Why? It's not that kind of day. It was kind of windy yesterday, but nothing terrible. You know? Could be worse. Oh my goodness, can I not get it in the hole? This is why I do the sewing method. I just gotta find my place here. So, yeah. And I had to put the crock pot in the bathroom because I have no more plugs or place to set the crock pot anymore because both of my plug-ins are used up uh, used up where the stove is plugged in because it's it's not an electric stove it just has to be plugged in for the what's it called electric you know, when you, you start a gas stove, it has an electric igniter. Jesus, what the hell is that called? So, yeah, words are hard today, I guess. <sighs> and no grand plans. No grand plans. I don't even know if we'll get mail at the rate we're going. That post office is just piss poor. And, like, last Saturday, case in point, I got four reviews in at one time I'm like seriously oh my goodness so I got four packages at one time didn't get hardly maybe one or two the rest of the week like, what the hell people so everything showed up at once it's kind of why I miss being in a big town Things work better when you live in, like, a city. I don't know. Just seems to go better. You don't have nearly the problems I do with these small towns. And my whole month of October was totally screwed up, so I have not mailed a thing out. So I'm waiting for payday again. I'm sorry, it, it's it's going to get there. I'm going to get it mailed out, but yeah. I had to wait for this and wait for that and buy this and buy that. And I have to get my, what do you call it, my license plates, but that's only like 50 bucks this month. And like I said, I'm not taking a whole bunch of stuff to uh, Thanksgiving. They'll be lucky if I make a pie. I, I did buy... Uh, I don't know who makes it. Maybe Pillsbury makes the, what do you call it, pumpkin bread in the packages. Yeah. So I bought two of those because they do last until 2024. And I bought some of the, you know, the pans you can buy because my bread pan is not good. I don't know where I got it, but I don't like it at all. So I just buy the kind you can dispose of after you've made it. Sometimes you can get two batches out of it, but I'm going to make some pumpkin bread. And 
I'm gonna freeze it. I wanted to get the the small little uh what do you call them? Bread pans that are about like that big. What is that? Four inches? Five? I don't know. Hell, they might be six inches. But you know, you can make individual loaves. So yeah. And, you know, wrap them up. And that way I can get them out in the winter time. And, yeah. I have not seen those boxes of the uh, pumpkin bread. They used to have cranberry bread, too. Now I have my mother's recipe for cranberry bread. I have no idea how well that will work out. Or if it will work out. So, yeah. Not sure on that. But I did see they had finally had whole cranberries now because I guess it's Thanksgiving. <sighs> so, and I still don't know what we're doing. I have to call my son this weekend and say, okay, they were supposed to get a door on my daughter. They had a, we'll call it a pole barn. God, I don't know what else. It's a big metal building, huge. Um, put in. At, on their property, but they haven't got a, they're supposed to have some kind of door built, and we were going to have it in there, you know, because he's got a heater in there and everything, for when he works out there, so we were thinking about doing that, and she said, well, if we don't get doors, we're going to have it at my son's house, Christmas and Thanksgiving. So, we'll see. I don't know. Hell, I may stay home and fix my... I'm trying to find the rest of those X's. Um, and just cook my own stuff. I have done that. I am fully capable of doing that. One year I made... Uh, turkey meatloaf and I put cranberries and I actually threw in some cranberries and green beans and mixed it all up it was really good and made it out of ground turkey but I don't know if I would do that again but it was really good and I kind of mixed in some uh turkey gravy in yeah it was different it was something I've never done and who knows I'll just go ham get a ham and forget it because they have lots of hams but I really like my turkey I really like turkey so it's not like it's going to go to waste and then I make a turkey tetrazzini in with the leftovers and Make a big old batch of that, but yeah. This is just going slow today, I feel like. Sure is a pretty blue, though. Be nice on uh, some darker, like cream colored. Maybe like tea dyed or something. <sighs> I have used blue on white and it, it's just a little too bright for me or something. It just, I cannot for the life of me stitch on white fabric. It, I don't know. Unless there's a whole lot of color to add to it. I like that mushroom Lugana. It's kind of a nice color. I bought it more so than any other off-white. That and, uh, what is it? Cafe Latte. It's country French. Cafe Latte. From uh, Witchlet. It's a country line for the Ada. Oh yeah, I like that. And my country French Cafe Mocha which is a little bit darker brown. So 
So those are my two eight-ifs. So I just buy favorites. I don't buy too much different colored fabric. I don't know. One, I have a hard time seeing it. so I don't buy it for anything huge. Now this is coming along. I hear it dripping out there. I'm sick of dripping. It's like, come on. I'm sick of snow already. No. I like snow. but And I don't even mind being snowed in. That doesn't bother me at all. And driving on it, you know, we don't have too many problems because they keep it pretty well plowed. I just go slow. If they want to go around me, they can go around me. I just don't care. It's one of those perks of being an old lady, right? Oh, jeez. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Oh, please. What in the world? Holy cow. We are having a day. Seriously? Alright, guys. Well, I think I know. I didn't get much done, did I? Where is it? Is it in the picture? There we go. So we got that part and that part done. It's really hard to see it here. See it here? This other red is... Yeah, this red symbol is right butted up right next to the X's, and it's a half X. Oh, my goodness. It's kind of hard to see at a distance. Well, thank you for joining me and putting up with all my yipping and yapping. I hope you all have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.